Oui. Um, I began to practice the English with uh, the course with Insa Foreign. Okay. Uh, English Corporative. All righty. I okay. like it. Uh -huh. I, and in my, my special hobby is uh, I, I like to run in the, in the park, running. Um, maybe sometime to read uh, uh, a, a book, especially uh, emotional. Uh, oh, okay. The, uh, <laughs> like the motivation the, ones. Okay, good. Motivation, right. Um, All righty. What more, uh, I am staying in my house because for the quarantine, right? And that moment, uh, I, I for its frequency to work in, in the project, and uh, social project with the local government, but nowadays for the, for the situation is, is, is staying, I am staying in my house, right? Mm -hmm. With the quarantine and with my families. Yeah, hey, but that's okay. nice. Uh huh. Uh -huh, but maybe I, I don't know what happened with this situation in the future. Yeah, but, nobody uh -huh. knows. Yeah, but but um, yeah, uh, maybe with the second language, maybe uh, in the future will be a, a strong. A, definitely, a, definitely, uh, and okay. yeah. yeah, and I'm Listen. here to help you. Definitely. Yeah. 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 So yes. we're going to be half and a half. Teacher does half and a part, and the other student do. The other half, okay, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's why yeah. I'm going to ask you for a lot of things. Uh, we're going to practice, guys, the four skills okay, the listening, the speaking, the writing, right, and the reading. We're okay. going to practice, we're going to make a lot of exercises because I want you guys to develop all those skills, and we're going to practice with the different examples, right? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, tell me, guys, okay, uh, we have Victor. And Rafael and Renee and Gabby and Yvette, I want to see you guys, okay? So please turn on the cameras because I want to see you. Ah, Yvette, you look so beautiful. Come on, why? You don't want to show your beautiful face? Oh, come on. Hey, Gabby, how are you? Very good. Mr. Rafael, Quintanilla, Emerson, and Lisette. I want to see everybody. All of you are handsome and beautiful, so come on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of course. All righty. So, guys, tell me something. I want to know what is exactly, uh, because Louis said something, but I want you guys to let me know what are your expectations in this class. What type of um, expectation do you have and which skill is more difficult for you and you would like to develop it? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tell me. Okay, who goes, who's going to start? Go ahead, Melvin. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I, my objective is to uh, learn about speaking. Mm -hmm. about speaking and writing and uh, speak, speak uh, more fast every fast. day, every, uh, learning, <coughs> learning, learning to speak faster and uh, perfeccionar, digamos, the, the, the speaking and the conversation with other persons. Very good, excellent. What about you, Yvette? Tell me. Um, writing. Writing? I guess I'd, I don't have a lot of problems with speaking or... or so you're going to help Melby. I can speak a lot. I can speak a lot, but I have troubles with um, my writing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I 
make mistakes and putting some verbs first than the sentences. Oh, and got it. That's my problem. Definitely. Don't worry. That's why we're going to develop that. And, and I'm going to send you a lot of writing activities, okay? okay we're going to work you. together. Okay, very okay. good. What about you, Mr. Rene Quintanilla? How are you, sir? Hello. 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 Yeah. Hear me? Well, yeah. Yes, right. Uh, okay. Good night. Good night, everybody. Uh, it's my first class. I don't know things when you start to, to this class. Ooh, that was at but, eight o'clock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, don't worry. Uh, my name. My name is Alberto Wandiki. Yeah. I live in Uslutan. That's nice. Um, yes, I, I am social worker. I work for the a ONG a World Vision. Oh, really? That's nice. World, World Vision, World Vision El Salvador. That's and great. I, 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 I love my my work. I Definitely, work it's with, really nice. With, with people, with communities, and for this develop for, for para su desarrollo to for its develop yeah or the development of it mm -hmm. and i like sports uh, i i am a crazy fan to real madrid oh <laughs> my god who is barca <laughs> me oh and, uh, <laughs> oh you're in trouble Rene. me apologize i'm neutral <laughs> <laughs> and I like to uh, my 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 big uh, my big hobby is mm -hmm. uh, photography, <gasps> and I, I love the motorcycles. I, I I have one motorcycle, and I I always like to, um, hear English music. Okay, and, that's nice. Uh, Yes, yes, and I want to learn more, more about the pronunciation. All right. Through speaking, um, writing, mm -hmm. and I don't know. Um, I am happy to to be here. Me too. I'm happy, even though you it was you you came out late, but it doesn't matter. I'm so happy, guys, because even though today has been a really stressful, sometimes maybe hard work right or you're still study or whatever but you are here and that i'm happy because it shows that your commitment okay that you're willing to learn that you're willing to practice and for me as a teacher it's like i'm so i'm happy about it <laughs> uh, yeah i am definitely because i can see that you're like a hard worker and i love that all kinds of students because i'm a hard teacher as well Right, Oscar, and we can like. <laughs> I just get in. All righty, okay. Who else? Emerson, tell me something. What are your expectations in today's class? What is exactly that you would like to develop? The speaking, okay. the writing, the reading. What? Okay. Good, good evening, everyone. Good evening. And um, I would like to learn and. Um, about the the video. about the what? So, sorry, I can, couldn't hear you. Sorry. I would like to learn about the the idiom. Okay. Good evening. So um, I would like practice uh, my speaking because. Okay. Um, this is my my uh, because I I make mistakes, some mistakes. So I would like uh, practice a lot. Mm-hmm. And I would like uh, uh, writing and learn about writing mm -hmm. as well. Okay, that's good. So, okay, so you said writing as Yvette and a speaking. Okay, cool, excellent. Um, Gabby Martinez, how are you, girl? Hello, good night. Good night. How are you, baby girl, so far? Ah. Uh, uh, very well. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> yes. Can you please Thank tell you. us a little bit about yourself and also which are your expectations for today's class? 
Ok, um, my name is Gabriela Martinez. Uh, I have a door. Um, I work in home. Mm -hmm. um, I like to study English and improve uh, in that way. Uh, for me, the most difficult thing is speak. And that is um important to improve in this class and i like um watch movies series mm -hmm. reflex my free times and embroider uh, mm -hmm. by hand mm -hmm. and i like to cook for my family and only that and also pizza right yes <laughs> Yeah. And pupusas. And pupusas. Oh my God, that's <laughs> nice. Maybe you can invite us one day. That yes, would be amazing. Of course. Yeah, we can we can have a buffet. Right? A buffet. A okay. buffet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a buff that's a French word, by the way. It's a buff, no buffet. 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 Because in French did you not pronounce the termination of the words? Oh, you just buffet. You write it, but you do not pronounce it. Okay. okay, so I'm going to show you French words as well. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Mr. Victor Landverde, how are you, sir? You have a new hurt style, by the way. It's wavy. I, I like the summertime where the word is fine. Yeah, huh? I don't know where is my hat right now. Yeah, what happened with your home? <laughs> you, you, you always wear a hat here or in the opposite <laughs> way. I know. Like a Bales boy player? Yes. What happened? But you I look nice. Know, it? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself so your other classmates can know each other. Uh, okay, so my name is Victor. I live in Chalatenango. Mm -hmm. I am 16 years old. Oh He's a baby of the class. Okay. <laughs> no, okay, I'm sorry, lying. Beverly. You're no longer, longer the baby. <laughs> No, 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 you're not 16. Come on. Shame on you. <laughs> yeah, but, I, yeah, but I, I know it. I look like 16. You look like, but you are not, sir. You got no, accepted. I, I, <laughs> I, I am 25 years old. Ah, so um, Beverly's still the baby, okay. I like <laughs> play soccer. I had two work, two jobs. So I work in the hotel, but right now for this situation in my country, so mm -hmm. I am not working in the hotel, but I, I am a mechanic. I mm -hmm. fix car. And my favorite sport is soccer. Mm -hmm. I love play soccer. Barça or Real? Real. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Real, Boca Junior. Um, <laughs> Liverpool. I think you're about yeah, to get killed. Yeah, Chalatenango too. <laughs> All right. Um, and fast. I, uh, and fast. Okay. No man. <laughs> All right. I love. I like. I like go to parties. I like dance. I don't know how to dance, but I like dance. Okay. At least he's going to pretend. That's good. <laughs> I think that's all. At least he moves, right? That's good. All right. Hey, and tell us what is which are your expectations for today's mo model? that starts today. What you would like um, to develop? The speaking, the writing, the listening, the reading? I, I would like to speak really good English. I would like to speak like, I don't know, really fast and to, I, I don't know, man. Yeah, but I, you're doing some, good, sometimes, you know? Sometimes, sometimes I wanna say maybe something and I say wrong, so. I would like I would like to speak really good and everybody can understand to me. So well, right now everybody understands you, so that's good. Uh, yeah, but I know I have big problems because sometimes I want to say something about the future and, and I tell about the past. You know what happened is what we were talking on the past model. Latin people, the Salvadorian people, were really special. Because we start talking about the present, then we got a little bit of the back, then we come back to the present, and then we'll start talking about the future. That's what we are, right? <laughs> because we are like chachalaco, right? That's what we call, right? Yeah. Here, you know? yeah. But American British and British people, they are a different culture. 
So you gotta, if you're talking about the past, you gotta stay in the past, no matter what. If you're talking about the present, stay in the present. If you're talking about present perfect, starts with the past and continues in the present. Yeah? So depends on what you're talking about, you gotta stay in the verb that you're using. You cannot combine it. All right? So we need to get used to it, definitely. But don't worry about it. That's why we're here. And you know what? You, have you noticed something, guys? Everybody, I think most of you are worried about the speaking, right? That is yeah. the hardest part. And, you, and have you noticed that we are speaking right now? You see? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we have a, a speaking. Little, a little bit, but. Yeah, exactly. You, you know what? In my class, you have two options. Or you speak or you speak. Which one you prefer? <laughs> speak. speak right of course right yeah speak. exactly speak. yes so in my class you're going to speak a lot and don't worry if you make mistakes that's part of the process it's a new language from you it's not your native language so you're going to make mistakes that's totally acceptable but don't don't feel ashamed don't feel like oh my god i'm going to make mistakes don't worry okay just try to express what you think but i'm going to give you a, a clue I mean, an example. Do not use words that you don't know. Try to use the vocabulary that you know so far. Okay? Mm -hmm. Try to express yourself in the words that you, are, yeah, you know already. Okay? Uh, once you're studying, once you're listening, once you're reading, you're going to um, know a lot another languages, another vocabulary that will be like, like in Spanish, pam para mi matata, right? Pum. Right? But right now, there are some words that you don't know. And you're going to learn it in the process, during time, right? And that will be increasing your vocabulary. Oh, and now I can't. Okay, for example, for example, let me give an example. We have, right now, for the quarantine, we have a hail, right? An alcohol hail, right? That we use to clean our hands, for example. But we do not call it alcohol hell. We call hand sanitizer. That's the, that's the correct word to express. Hand sanitizer. You see? Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. That's the hell that you put to clean your hands. Hand sanitizer. That's the right way to say it. So you see, oh my God, that's a new word for me. Now, now again, now, from now on, you're going to say, okay, do you have a hand sanitizer for me, by the way? You see? You're going to use it because now you know what that means you see yes okay yes. yeah so that's an example of how you're going to increase your vocabulary but you gotta work hard okay no matter what and i'm here to help you we're a family we're a team okay i, I know i'm your teacher but i'm like i don't i'm not like um mrs rottenmeyer have you seen have you heard that <laughs> yeah, do you remember Haiti? <laughs> yeah? Yes. Okay, oh my God, I'm not like that. No, 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 no. I'm your friend. I'm here to guide you, to help you, okay? And that's what we're here for. And today's, guys, we're going to start about a topic. Well, basically, before we start, let me ask you a quick question. Um, God, no, Alexia, do you remember that there were like two guys or three, who said that they love uh, football? Uh, oh. Let me, let me check my... <laughs> okay, like, like uh, your cassette, okay? Mm -hmm. you were Oscar paying Quintanilla. <laughs> Oscar Quintanilla, and who else? Um, let me see. He's not wearing a hat today. Rene. Rene. Rene, uh-huh. And who else? Only that. No way. No, we got remember. two more guys, by the way. Coca-Cola no. guy. Coca-Cola guy is one. Mr. Mel, Mr. Mauricio. 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 And, and we're missing one more. I, I, well, I think two more. Victor. Victor. And who else? Victor. Melvin. And Melvin. Yay. Uh-huh. You see? <laughs> That is part of the listening activity, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be careful. Okay, let me check who else. Okay, who said they had uh, two children and loves to go to the gym and do exercises? 
Oscar. Oscar. Oh yeah. Oh my God, that was easy. Come on. <laughs> All right. Mm. This picture. Yeah, yeah. Who has? Uh, who said that has 16 years old, but it's not true? <laughs> Victor. Victor. <laughs> that was easy too. <laughs> All righty. Uh, okay. Uh huh. Who said that works in a uh, ONG? World Vision. Rene. Rene. Very good. Okay. Uh, who says that has 22 years old? Beverly. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, my God. You have a good memory, Gabby. That's great. All right. There are two guys that love motorcycles. Two guys. Rene. Rene. Rene is one. Uh-huh. And the other one? Victor, you're fixing motors? No. No. No, no only fixing cars. cars. Only cars. Just, just cars. Okay. They are like, uh-huh. They are like... Three guys that loves to read meditation books. Yes. And one of them, yeah. Rene. Luis. Luis, yes. Who else? Oh, it's a girl, it's a girl. Luis. Stephanie. Tevi, oh. Stephanie. Hey, can we call you Tevi? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> I have a really cool, cool close friend. Her name is Stephanie, and I call her Steffi. Okay. okay. Who else? We're missing one, right? Rene Sandoval. Yeah, I think so. Yes, exactly. Very good. Uh huh. And last but not least, there's a there's a man who loves. He's a Coca Cola holic. Yeah, that was easy. Oh no, yes, that, that was one. easy. <laughs> that was easy. All right. And last but not least, I have not heard that beautiful lady, Roxy. How are you, Roxy? Hi. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you think? What do you expect today's class? Uh, okay. I am Roxana Lopez. I work in I'm a specialist in financial planning. And you love numbers. I hate them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and well, I love the ice cream. I mm -hmm. I eat I live all days and I never bore it. <gasps> hey Oscar, you have you gotta let her know something because too much ice cream. <laughs> okay. And She's skinny. I, <laughs> and I like to play football. And I am I I like uh, Real Madrid. Okay. Uh, I'm neutral, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to do ex exercise in the weekend. Yes, great. And well, well, I love comida china. Me too. Yeah, Me too. we're going to be nice. Yeah, give it to Alfa, girl. Cool. Uh huh. Yeah. And well, I don't have children, mm -hmm. and I have a twin sister. Oh, really? Are you sure it's you? It's not your twin sister? No, it's okay. Me. Go, go, go. And well, um, I well, my for my expectation, um, I want to to talk uh, more fast, um, speak more fast in, in English because I I think a lot with with Spanish. When I, when I, when <laughs> yeah, I, I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, but that's don't worry. Don't worry. You will, everybody would like to speak faster, right? Faster, no more fast, faster. Okay, we're going to learn this in this model, don't worry. And you know what? We're going to start uh, with a little bit of topic that is really hard for us, but we're going to talk about, we'll start talking about or learn how to talk about in the past. Okay, yes, exactly. We're going to talk about simple past. Okay, guys, we're going the simple past, we're going to send it two times. We're going to send it with the verb to be, and we're going to see it with the auxiliary did. Okay, but today I'm going to focus on the verb to be. Hey, guys, what is the verb to be in Spanish? Very good, Beverly. Okay, tell me in present tense. I want to see in present tense. Which are the three of verb to be? Which one? Was, was, no, 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 in was, present, 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 not past. 
present. Is, um, are, is, are. Okay, is, are, um, are. Very are, good. Um, okay, I use am for which subject? I. I for I. I. Yes. Okay, what about this is? He, 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 she, 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 exactly. We call it the third person singular. What about R? We, you, we, we, you, me. Fantastic. Okay. okay, simple pass is called simple pass because it's simple. You know, you're not going to memorize three, you're going to memorize only two, which in this case is was and where. where? That's it. Uh, we're talking about, uh, uh, yes, simple pass with the bird to be. Okay, let me show you my screen because you know what? The teacher has worked really hard. Yeah, and has a, yeah, prepared a lot for you guys. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me try to open my screen and then I will share with you, okay? Allow me one moment. There you go. I, I just want to know, guys. Uh, 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 here you go. If you will, if you can see my screen, okay. Let me know as soon as you're able to see it, please. Can you see it, guys? Yes. yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. A simple pass. Okay. Do me a favor. Who can help me reading? We're going to start practicing the skill for reading. Um. Me, please. Who? Who me? Who's that me? Stephanie. Steffi, go ahead, Steffi. What is a simple path? Here we go. It's a verb tense. Um, I can see that. Wait. Yeah, it's a verb tense? Yeah, it's a verb tense, which is... Oops. To, uh -huh. which, which is used to show that a complete action took place at, at at a specific time in the past. Mm -hmm. The simple path is also frequently used to talk about past habits and generation generalists. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. Okay. That, thank you so much, Steffi. Okay, basically guys, the simple pass we use it to show an action that has been completed. Completed. The two takes in the past. In the past in a specific time. And with, when we talk about past habits and the word that it was hard to pronounce, right, Steffi? Generalizations, all right? Generalizations. Generalizations. There you go. Guys, do you see the, the timeline? Ven la línea del tiempo, the timeline? Yes. Yeah, we got the present, we got the future, we got the past. Okay, so the simple past, guys, is here. Okay? If you're talking about an action that starts in the past and it ends in the past, okay? Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, in this class, we're going to like basically learn the simple past, but with the verb to be, okay? We are, we're, we're also going to learn about the, well, the, the, there's another way to talk about the past, but I want to focus here on the bird to be. I know that this is really easy for you. Uh, you already have seen the bird to be, is that correct? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, so that will be like a little bit refresh. Okay, do me a favor. Oscar, could you please be so kind to read it for me? Okay, the present and past tense of to be. Very good. Go ahead. Present tense, I am, you are, he, she, it is, mm -hmm. we are, you, plural, mm -hmm. are, they are. Uh -huh. Simple past tense, I was, you were, he, she, it was. We were, you plural, where they were. Exactly. Very good. So this is just like a, like a, compa like a comparison that we can say, guy, that guys, between the present tense and a simple past. If you can see in the present tense, we have basically, we got three birds, right? The one that you said, guys. Am, are, and is. But in the simple past, we only have was and where. Right? So, guys, at, according to this play, we use was with which subjects? I. Why? Very he, good. She, he, she, it. Very good. And what about were? Okay. We. Okay. 
Very good. Excellent job. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Let me give you an example here. There you go. Okay, you see, guys, in this particular example that I do have here, uh, basically I have a, a sentence in affirmative way, in a negative way. I want you guys to focus on the left side. Everybody's here with me on the left side? Okay. Yeah? Yes or no? Yes. I cannot hear you guys. Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have the subjects, we have the bird to be. And here, guys, we do have the sentence. For example, with I, of course, it's going to be was. What is the example that we do have here? Uh, Luis, go ahead. Read me the first sentence, please. Okay, I was tired this morning. Very good. Yeah, that means, guys, that Luis was tired this morning. This morning at 6 a.m., 7, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Guys, are we still in the morning or we're still at night? Night. At night. At night. That means that that action passed. Because Luis is no longer tired. Luis, now he has a lot of energy to be in today's class. <laughs> yeah? Okay, so you see, this is an action that, that starts in the past, guys, and ends in the past. And take a look at this. You see, the bird to be in the past, it is between the subject and in this case, the other verb. Okay? Which in this case is, uh, well, this is not a verb, guys. This is uh, an adjective. An adjective that means that you are tired. Okay? That you don't have energy. Are you with me? Yes. 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 Cool. What about the second one? Could you please read it for me, Melvin? You were tired very good. I don't know. You, you were tired very good? Or you were very good? You were very good. You were very good. Okay, very good. Okay, you see? Okay, everybody, put your Microsoft on mute, please, if you don't mind. All right, very good. So you see, guys, again, we have the subject, we have the bird to be, and we do get the complement, right? And so on, as the other example that we have seen here. This is for was. Then we have, guys, for where, we have we, you, and they. Could you please be so kind to read for me the rest of the sentence? Uh, Victor. Hi, Victor. Hi. I cannot, can you please read for me this sentence that I mark? <coughs> um, he was the best in his class. Okay, continue, please. She was late for work. Very good. Next. It was a sunny day. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. We, we were at home. All right. You were on holiday. Mm -hmm. They were happy with their test results. Uh -uh, again. They were happy with their test result. Again. They were happy with their test result. Results. Results. Res results. Re results. Results. Result. Okay, we're, Result. you, we're again, but without mistakes. Listen carefully. They were happy with their test results. Go ahead. They were happy with their test results. Fantastic. Excellent, Joa. I know you can. Very good, Victor. Congratulations. Okay, guys. Now we already, let's leave the affirmative way and then we move on to the negative way. Is everybody with me on the right side? Here? Yes? Yes. All right, yes. cool. Okay, yes, guys. Yes. For us to convert into a negative way, the only thing that we got to do is to add after was, we're going to add the particular not. Okay, and then we have an example. The same example that Luis said. Luis said, I was tired this morning. Luis, could you please read for me the, the sentence in a negative way? In a negative okay. way, please? Okay, I, I was not tired this morning. Exactly, very good. So you see, we add the particular in not, and we convert the affirmative into the negative way, and so on. Can you please read for me the second sentence, Luis? You are not crazy. Thank you. I know, but, but I'm, this is not true. I am crazy. Okay, <laughs> very good. Continue, Luis, please. He was not married. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. She was not famous. All righty. 
It was not hot yesterday. Very good. We were not invited. Mm -hmm. You were not at the party. Uh, they were not friends. Very good. Ah, aha. Uh -huh. I want you to repeat for me the last two. Uh, repeat for me, you were not at the? You were not at the party. You were not at the party, okay. Party. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They were not friends. Ah, okay, friends. very good. Uh -huh. Very good, Luis, because the first okay. time you did not pronounce on the S. Uh -huh. But now you pronounce it, so that's great. Excellent. Excellent yeah. job. Uh -huh. You know what? I have eight, between eight and nine years as a call center experience. So to be honest with you, my ear is really developed. Okay. Okay, very good. Okay, guys. Uh, there's another way to write negative sentences. Okay, this is the, the normal way. But guys, we also have contractions. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so you can say, I was not tired this morning, or, uh, Oscar? I wasn't tired this morning. Very good. You were not crazy. Oh, Gabby? Gabby, I cannot hear you. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, go ahead. Um, the second line, you were not crazy? You were not crazy or you were you weren't crazy. Very good. Roxy, can I have the third one please? He he was not married. Mm -hmm. or wasn't married. Very good. All right, Rene, go ahead with the next one. She was not Wait. famous or she wasn't famous. Very good. Famous. Very good. Famous. Next one. Uh -huh -huh. Yvette. Okay, Yvette. Where is my dear Yvette, by the way? I, I think she's not here, right? What about Rafael? No? He left? Um, let's continue. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Which sentence, teacher? Volunteers. Volunteer? Okay, thank you so much for participating. Go ahead, Mauricio. It was not hot yesterday. Mm -hmm. It wasn't hot yesterday. Continue, please. We were not invited. Mm -hmm. We weren't invited. Mm -hmm. You were not at the party. Mm -hmm. You weren't at the party. All righty. They were not friends. Mm -hmm. They weren't friends. Very good. Exactly. So you see, guys, you have either or. You have an option to put was not or were not or wasn't or weren't. Okay? okay. And okay. we have seen the affirmative and negative way. What about a question, guys? You can see the difference. First, the, you can see the, the answers, guys. We have the subject, the verb to be, mm -hmm. right? And, and not if it's negative, right? Or only was or were if it's affirmative. But now we have to turn it on. For example, you see the word, the bird to be, if you're making a question now, can you see that there's a difference? Yes. Okay, first, was and where is the first thing that you put in a question? It will go before the now. You see? And then we do have the complement. But if you want to make a question with was or were, you got to put it on the first place. You said, was I late? Oh, yes, you were. No, you weren't. This one, guys, calls just no questions with bird to be in simple pass. Okay? So the answer, the immediately answer will be, if it's affirmative, it's going to be yes. If it's negative, it's going to be no. Then you got to put the coma. This is really important. The guys are there with me. I'm, I'm, a, hol, I'm a grammar holic, guys. I love to punctuation. Okay? <laughs> punctuation for me in English is important. I don't care how you write in Spanish, but in English, yes. Okay? okay. And you got to put the subject where, right? Because uh, in this case, I'm talking about you, right? If it's she, of course, you're going to use was. 
and we got the period here okay, okay. and so okay. on guys and last but not least i just want to know if there's any question before i move on teacher i just want to say you something ah uh, yeah listen to you guys i can't see really well the examples you have put in the in your computer ah you cannot see it. who is talking by the way i'm yvette yvette of it you cannot see it no i can't see it oh okay 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 and That's why you why cannot I didn't read it <laughs> <laughs> ah okay it is because there is really small yvette oh uh, yeah i think so ah okay 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 all righty let me double check if i can i can't see it clear you cannot see it clear okay let me i think it is for the connection it's for the it's uh, for my is the internet maybe yes don't worry about it I'm, i will i will make a recap tomorrow so don't worry about that and uh you will be able to see the um, also the video on youtube because i need to upload it today okay. so you will be able to recap okay don't worry about that okay thanks teacher. you're welcome and all right guys and last but not least this is really nice because you see this is a summary of we have seen today guys was and where you see we got the affirmative way we got the negative way and the contraction okay yes you see guys okay and the questions for example they were happy that is affirmative way in question were they happy and you see guys this one what what is the name of this particular thing this one can question you see mark. it question mark very good excellent the question mark always remember that please when we're asking a question okay guys this one when we put the bird to be at the beginning of the question we have a just no question for example let's practice guys if i uh if i ask stephanie uh were you happy stephanie how your answer to me if it's positive, how you're going to answer? Were you happy? Positive. Uh huh. Affirmative. Were you happy? Yes, I was happy. Yes, I was happy. Very good. Excellent. And if it's negative? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Very good. Excellent job. Okay. Um, Luis, were you happy? Yeah. Yes, I, I was happy. What about negative way? I wasn't happy. Very good. Oscar, tell me, were Luis and Te Steffi happy? Yes. Yes, what? Uh, they, they were happy. Okay, what about negative way? They, they weren't uh, happy. Very good, excellent. Okay, guys. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, but it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, guys. So you see, we, we, we learned today about passive verb to be. That was easy, right? I was fast because I know that you learned that. But tomorrow, of course, we're going to learn the verb to be with the WH questions. Okay? Okay. That is different from answer, yes, I was, no, I wasn't, okay? That was just no question with simple pass. But now we're going to be the WH question that I need more information than a simple yes and a simple no, okay? We're going to learn that tomorrow. Any yeah. questions so far? No, no. So no far so good? No, teacher, come on. That was a piece <laughs> of cake. Easy peasy queasy. Okay. <laughs> Who got a question? Go ahead. Me. I got a question. Okay, cool. Some homework for tomorrow. I thank you, everybody. Like, <laughs> shut up, big girl. <laughs> sip it. No, no, no. That, that would be sip it. it. Sip it. Uh, no, if you, you use the other word that I mentioned or the other phrase when you are really close to somebody, okay? But when it's the first time that you see them, you say, no, 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 that isn't respectful, okay? If you say, like, close your mouth, for example, you said, sip it zip it okay like the zipper they used to close something right zip it miss yes 
so can, can I can I say CP for be quiet is the same? Yes, but also it's, it's kind of rude. Like be quiet. Come on. No, it's it's kind of rude. Yeah. Okay. So so it's better zip it. Okay. You know what? I'm oh, also going to, to learn to it. teach you something. Okay. Because when you're learning a foreign language, you also need to learn the culture of the foreign language. Okay. So we're going also to learn phrases that you can say, but depends on who you are with. Okay. And uh, I know in better ways to say exactly the same thing. Okay. So Victor, yes. Thank you so much for that. Your question or your homework uh, will be that you're going to tell me what did you do? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. What did you do? Uh, it will be during your day. Okay. okay. Uh, only, only with the bird TV, okay? Only with the bird TV. So I'm not going to have the, the whole story, just the sentences, for example, I was tired, so I woke up, I was with my baby, I was in the gym, I was like that, okay? Just so with the bird to be. What happened if I am going to do nothing tomorrow? You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. So you better wait until tomorrow comes, okay? <laughs> okay, guys, it was Thanks. nice to have you in today's class. Okay, please be safe. Hopefully you have a sweet dreams. Okay, okay take thank care. You. Hugs you. and kisses. Oh, and I'll see you tomorrow. That's, that's Bye. Hey, good night. It was my pleasure. Bye. Bye-bye. Good, good night. Okay, good night. Bonne nuit. Good night, everybody. <laughs>